everyone, this is Surasi from Design Prisco team. Today, I'm going to show you how to create 3D shape that you can add to your background or alongside your illustration. So, are you ready? Yes, let's get started. So this is the illustration that we're going to create. 3D design is one of the graphic design trends. This is not new but it's still very popular. So don't be surprised if you find 3D shape on various backgrounds, alongside illustration and typography of different styles. My frame and my color are ready. This is all the color that I'm going to use for today. You can choose your own color too. Okay, first we're going to create a pyramid. Use a polygon to draw a triangle. Go to edit and play with the point hole. We're gonna lean a little bit the triangle like this. I'm gonna draw another triangle like this. Go to edit. Now that you have your pyramid, we're gonna play with the gradient. Go to fill. Linear Control C to have your color again. Control C, do the same thing. Linear, and we're gonna change the direction like this. And voila, you have your pyramid, and then I'm gonna select these two shapes command G to group them together and rename your layer pyramid I want to duplicate my pyramid so what I'm gonna do is command C command V to have a duplicate to have a copy I'm gonna click here constraint proportion I want my pyramid to have the same proportion if I, I make it bigger or smaller it's gonna be the same proportion so like this. Now we're going to create a cylinder with ellipse. The number of the edge must be the half of the width. So like this, we need a duplicate. Go to rectangle. Number of the width must be the same of your ellipse. And now go place. Now you have your cylinder, we're gonna play it with the gradient color. Copy property and pass property, okay? And this idiot must be on top, like this. Linear. Play with the direction and for the bottom, I'm gonna keep solid and take this color. So it's blend very well. So well now you have your cylinder. And what I'm gonna do with the cylinder, I want to do a tree. So I need a trunk. So I'm gonna zoom in, okay? I don't forget to group them together. Command and G. Cylinder. Rectangle. Go here. Corner radius. 50 like this that is okay now we're gonna play with the color you know and voila you have your cylinder or popsicle <laughs> I want to create another tree, but this time with a sphere. I'll go to edit. Go to linear. Now you're gonna go to plus. And then you go to radial. And the color is white. You have to change the percentage 100 and play with the direction so the light is here. 
this is your highlight by example the sun is here so you put the highlight here and voila this look more 3d and again i need a trunk so i'm gonna take this one and copy c duplicate i'm gonna make it more long it's look more like a lollipop Maybe the radian again. Okay, don't forget to put them together. Energy, lollipop. Okay, now we're gonna create a, a cube. So we're gonna use again rectangle. You need to draw three. Okay, now that you have your cube, now play with the gradient. Maybe the direction now. We're going to create a deep this stock. So we're gonna draw a frame. We're gonna use rectangle. Okay, I want my frame to have this, this dimension. I'm gonna place it in the center. Then I'm go to radius and put pants. And then go to fill solid. I'm gonna stay with the solid. Use this color, control C, and put the color 50%. I'm gonna add stuff. The color, color white put in 20 side 0 0.67 like this so I have my frame okay we're gonna add a tree circle here to look like a real this stuff is it O and I need three, so I'm gonna copy C and copy W again. I'm gonna put the color right here. First one is always red, the second it's always yellow, and the last one is green. Then you're gonna Group them together. And then we're gonna add a, a line here. Yeah. So rectangle again. Now that you have your desk stuck, uh, we're gonna place whole shape to look nice. This pyramid, I'm gonna put it behind. I'm gonna place this on the top. I want my cube to be in front of the desktop. Same thing with my um, body pop. I'm gonna put it on the top. I think it's too long, so I'm gonna exit it, okay? show you how to create shadow let's take this the pyramid I want a shadow here okay gonna use pen you're gonna draw like a trapeze like this you don't need stuff 
So go to fill, go to linear. Okay, so this one I'm gonna put the this zero. Then I'm gonna draw another trap pad but smaller. Go to fill no. leaner color black again. So this is zero, okay. And then we're gonna add effect layer blue 60 and 54. Okay, I'm gonna group name shadow and then I'm gonna use this one the bigger this has a mass now that you have finished creating your shape and you are done with the shadow you're going to put a um, screenshot and you did start we're going to create a frame so use rectangle to draw your screen like this and then choose your screenshot I'm gonna use this one and place it here and then I'm gonna group together command and G screen hue screen and go to who has mask So voila, I'm done with the 3D shape, but I want to add uh, another illustration. Voila. Thank you for watching. I hope you will use 3D shape for your photo design. If you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.